Spot, good morning. Welcome to the beautiful Gleefish. We're here on a lovely November morning. It's a bit nippy, but the sun's out and absolutely brilliant so far. And I just want to talk to you for, about a nice little method for like winter fishing and just having a nice day's pleasure fishing, particularly when you catch fish like that. Look at that beauty. Perch well over the pound mark. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's put him in the net. Now all I'm doing, and this method works on a lot of venues, not just the Glebe. In fact, I wouldn't even, you know, it's not the norm to do it here. I just thought I'd give it a try. It basically it revolves around a couple of pints of maggots. Nothing complicated there. And a nice strung out rig that allows me to catch, mag uh, catch fish on a short six meter line. This is brilliant for F1, it's brilliant for silvers, big perch like you've just seen, even the odd carp. So I just want to run you through the basics. All I've got is a 4x12 Mick Wilkinson Slim Float. I've got strung out number 11s from about a two thirds of my way down my rig down to my hook length. I've got 013 main line and then I've got a nice 09 hook length with a size 18 MIDI 6313 hook. I've got an 8 Jura Hollow, the old faithful, can land anything on this. And all I'm doing is simply throwing maggots in, just short on a 6 metre line, the bottom of the shelf. The shelf just, just creases out and flattens out. I'm just fishing right at that bottom. Hopefully any fish, like big perch, you know, F1s, if there was F1s in here, big carp will just be patrolling along there and hopefully I can pick them off. Let's get a couple of maggots on and see what we can catch. Right, I'm just putting, I'm just top and tailing my maggots. I think that's quite important. When you're using a little hook, I like to just hook one through the, the normal blunt end and one through the thin end. Just leaves a little bit more hook showing. But I'm a big fan of small hooks, so having plenty of hook point exposed. Now all I'm doing is fishing the top kit in three sections. And I'm just going to flick the maggot rig over and hold it on a tight line so it just falls through nicely. And then it's just a case of throwing... I like to do it twice, about 15 maggots twice. And let's see what, what we can catch. I've just had Two nice perch, I've had a couple of roach. I've even lost the cart, but we won't dwell on that too much. Hopefully the next one I catch, I'll, I'll get him out. But importantly, it's these big perch I'm really enjoying catching. And it's a great method, not only like, been winning quite a few quid at Tunnelbound Farm doing fishing like this, obviously catching F1s. But if you just want to go for a nice day's pleasure fishing, it's a great method, you know. All I've got is a couple of pints of maggots, short pole, and you're going, you don't know what you're going to catch, and I think that's brilliant. I've just got my floats there, as you can see, it's nicely just shotted. Leave a bit of bristle showing. And because at this place there's not too many roach, so it's a case of waiting for a bite. And nine times out of ten, it's a quality fish. Could catch anything, could catch bream, a few skimmers maybe, a few goldfish perhaps, maybe even a tench if I'm lucky. But hopefully I'll catch a few more than big perch. Little indication then. But don't be afraid to throw more maggots in. I like to just really build the swim. So I'll be throwing two lots of maggots in every time I ship in. Throw two lots in right on my float. And if nothing happens in like a minute or two, I'll repeat the process, lay the rig in, throw some more maggots in, and then wait for another bite. Just fishing about an inch over depth, just to keep that double maggot hook bait still. There's no toe on today, but it just, just makes sure that, you know, it's nice and still on the bottom. Which is just exactly what you want. So no indications just yet. I said, I just had that nice big perch. So hopefully a few more of his mates are about. Oh. Just getting a nice little dip. Oh, what is it? Oh, it's just a little, a little roach. Is it a little roach? Yeah. Nice little roach there. Take a liking to me double maggot up bait. Get back out there, put a bit more feed in. That's the beauty of this method though, because it attracts any fish. So your pegs are always gathering fish. You know, your, your maggots have been eaten by roach, been, been, been eaten by everything. So there's always activity in the swim, which in turn draws other fish. And it, it'll, it's the sort of method that just gets better and better over your five hours or the length of your session. Any loads of bait, like I said, just, but just keep it going in regular and you'll reap the rewards. Oh, there we go. Another bite on the maggot short. This feels a bit different. What we got? Another perch, maybe? 
good fish, whatever it is. What is it? That eight olive working beautifully. Just a perfect balance set up with that 6313. Oh yes, another big sergeant. Here he comes. Oh, look at him. Beautiful. He's even bigger. Look at this beauty. Look at that. It's like a corker of a fish. Stick his fin up, look. Look at that beauty. Well over a pound. Third one of the session. What a method.